Oftentimes faculty don't want to think of themselves as leaders because leadership often connotes the dark side of the institution. But when they're able to see that their own leadership can improve teaching practices of their colleagues and in their programs, they end up getting really quite excited about it. We are working with faculty from two-year colleges, from community colleges, who teach in the geosciences. And we're working with them to promote their work as agents of change, to try to change their own teaching practices, to work at changing their um, programs, the geoscience programs, and also to work to change in their region, the other geoscience faculty from two-year colleges. With the research aspect of it, what we're trying to uncover are what is in the secret sauce of organizational change. How do we see these individuals going out, changing not only their own practice, but their institutions? And by studying that, how do we learn a process to be able to share with others? Many community college instructors are lone wolves, or there's a lot of uh, independence that we have. We may be the only uh, full-time faculty member, maybe with a few adjuncts that we interact with as well. So one of the great benefits of the SAGE Change Agents project has been the opportunity to interact with colleagues. Part of what being a change agent means, uh, you know, we're learning about things uh, that we can do in our classes, uh, to help our students and then then we are tasked with going out and helping to create change and be advocates for these changes that that we're making the faculty change agents work in teams we've got 10 teams across the country and they each run a workshop in the region the region could be defined as the people within you know, uh, within part of a city, Los Angeles, or across the whole state, Virginia, for example. And so what you see happening at these workshops is when you get all of the 23 together, there's this energy in the room that is almost undescribable in that they're able to share their best practices. And you, you get to overhear conversations, which is part of my favorite thing, it, about, oh, I hadn't thought about that. You tried that in your class and it worked? How about if I try that when I go back to my campus. The SAGE project has brought several changes to my classroom specifically. Um, as an instructor I've been using some new techniques. I've been using something uh, called metacognition in the classroom which is getting students to think about how they think. Generically we, we kind of use the, the phrase thinking about one's thinking but really I think it's thinking about how one learns and processes the information that they intake. And as that little stone put into a pond, it's a ripple effect. And so they start with themselves and they end up having that influence on others beyond themselves. If we in the geosciences want to broaden participation and become a more inclusive community, we need to include faculty and students from community colleges.